Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is The Buddha and today we're going to talk about every kind of NFT there is in Wild Forest. So we're going to talk about the different kind of packs. We are going to talk about the skins. We're going to talk about the units. We're going to talk about the lords, of course. And we're going to talk about the upcoming Clan Zeppelin NFTs. So if you don't know about it, stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe and have fun with the video. So first things first, we are going to talk about the different kind of packs and what's actually inside it. Here on the Mavis marketplace, we can see we have the wild forest packs. What kind of packs do we have? Right now we have the basic pack, the basic plus pack, then the standard pack, the premium pack and then the founders pack all the way down here. Let's have a look what's inside of each of them. First of all, we here have the basic pack. So in the basic pack, you can get 10 random unit NFTs. Five of them are uncommon or common, five of them are rare. Then you also have a chance to get some skins. So you have a 90% chance to get an epic skin and 10% chance to get a legendary skin. So you definitely guaranteed at least one skin in here. The next one is the basic plus pack. Here you're getting the double the amount of the normal basic pack. So 20 random unit NFTs, 10 of them common or uncommon and 10 definitely rare. You also get another skin in here. So 70% chance here to get an epic skin and 30% chance to get a legendary skin. The basic and the basic plus packs were only about units and about skins. Now we're getting into the juicy packs. So here you can see we have the standard pack and on top of the normal random unit NFTs and also the skins that you can get, here we have the first chance to get the most valuable NFT there is in Wild Forest and we're talking about the Lord NFT. And here we can see with the standard pack we have a chance of 5% to get a Lord NFT and these 5% are 3.27% for a rare, 1.33% for an epic and 0.57% for a legendary. So we see here we cannot get a mystic with these packs but at least we have a 5% chance to get a Lord NFT. That's also why I explained the basic and the basic plus pack first and now the standard pack. Also here on the marketplace we can see right now the standard pack is yeah cheaper than the basic plus pack but we have the chance to get a lord actually in here. I mean it's only a 5% chance but we still have the chance to get it. Talking about chances to get a lord NFT. Here we have now the premium pack. If you haven't gotten one in my last video, definitely check it out, I'm having a giveaway for one of these premium packs. They are right around $1,300 right now. So I'm giving one away for a subscriber who liked the last video and wrote a comment underneath it. And here we have a 25% chance to get a Lord NFT. This is quite high. And we see a rare you get with 16.55%, an epic with 4.35%, a legendary with 2.35%. And here we have the first chance to actually get a mystic Lord NFT. These are the most valuable things you can get in Wild Forest right now. And here we have a chance with 1.75%. On top of that, you also get 20 random unit NFTs, so 10 common or uncommon, 10 rare, and also a chance of 70% to get an epic skin and 30% chance to get a legendary skin. The last pack we're going to talk about today is the Founders Pack. Here we have a guaranteed chance to get a Lord NFT. So if you open one, you will get a Lord NFT. If you haven't seen one being opened i have two videos opening videos where i opened in total three of these packs so definitely check them out um yeah here you have a 65 percent chance to get a rare an epic for 20 percent a legendary 10 percent and a mystic for five percent so the chances are quite good here but uh yeah just check out my videos and you'll see uh, why I'm talking about this right now. Here you also get 20 random rare unit NFTs and two legendary units. So this is a pack that is definitely worth it. But I mean, the price right now is also really, really high. As we can see it here, we have it at around $3,500 right now. 
But now let's talk about the units, the skin and everything else. Here we are back on the wild forest units Mavis marketplace and as you can see we have here many different units with different rarities so we have uncommon then we have common and then if we can click on rare here the blue ones are the rare ones what i want to make clear here these units that we can trade right now on the mavis marketplace are the main net units those are the units you get from outside of the packs the units that you're playing right now inside of the games these are better assets so we're right still right now where i'll release this video still in better so these units that you are having in your in-game right now in season five and six these are only better assets you cannot trade these right now these will be converted after the beta into special packs again, where you have mainnet units inside. So right now, definitely grind those battle passes, get up to level 100, get as many beta asset units as you can get, also with the wild forest token that you can get right now inside of the game, because these can be transferred into new packs and maybe even be sold with these packs or you open them and then you have more units inside of them and maybe also some skins or even lords. But we'll talk about these now. Here we have the skins. So we have four for the epics and four for the legendaries right now. We have the swordman, we have the knight, we have the sniper. Then we also have an archer, which we can't see here right now. These are all the epic skins and these are only cosmetics. Here we also have the archer and now I will also show you the legendaries. So what that means is you can equip them on your units, but they don't have any like buff effect or whatever. It's just cool looks. And um, also in the future it's planned if you have a full set of one skin that also your buildings or your castle will also be yeah, cosmetically upgraded. But yeah, there's no other use case than rarity and cosmetics with these. Now we're getting into the juicy part of the video, the Lord NFT. Back on the Mavis market here, Wild Forest Lords. As you can already see here, we have the different kind of Lords. So we have Rare, we have Epic, Legendary and Mystic. Right now we only have the Wolf and the Fox. We have right now 1000 Lords out there on the Mavis marketplace, but there are 4000 more coming with the pig and the owl uh, as the race. And yeah, these will be coming with maybe the special packs that we get from the beta transfer, um, but maybe also with new sales. We don't know about that yet, but we know the maximum amount of Lords that will exist will be 5000. And now talking about the use case a bit, we can see here, I'll put my camera a bit onto the other side. We can see here, we have the Lord NFTs and yeah, Max Mystic are 250 units, Legendary 500, Epic 1000 and Rare 3250. With these, you will get your own land for future gameplay also. They will also boost your castle. So when you open up the game you see in the middle you have a campfire there and if you're an owner of the lord nft in the main game in the upcoming main game you will be able to upgrade it to a chateau with a rare lord uh, to a tower with an apple lord and a legendary castle and a citadel with a mystic lord and then you can also see there's some use cases here so you have a training camp you can level up your units for free then you have a recruitment camp when it starts with the epic tower there you can mint actually units on the blockchain for free and the legendary and the citadel they also have the tavern where you can buy unit nfts for the gold that you have inside of your game so it's it's getting really juicy when talking about legendary and also mystic, of course. I'm not an owner of these yet. I'm still praying to Sky Mavis and also to Wild Forest Lords to get a legendary Lord in the future. Please give me, give me a legendary or a mystic. I really want it. And uh, yes, so these are the upcoming use cases. We also have some priority access, early access to new game modes and also to whitelisting. Also, we have, of course, the PvP. It is a PvP that you can use, exclusive Discord channels. We already have these and upcoming raffles and special events. One NFT that we don't know much about yet because it's so far in the future probably is the Clan Zeppelin NFT. This is an NFT for the upcoming 
clan wars. So if you're in a clan, maybe you want to join my clan, maybe I'll open one up or maybe we'll have a kind clan, we don't know yet. Um, then you can join and we can, yeah, I would say lend you some part of this clan NFT and we can work together and uh, profit also together. So there's also some talk about um, profiting and yeah, splitting up those profits, the profit that is generated by leasing and lending this NFT. And then we can yeah, work together and hopefully get some other clans down and uh, defeat them. The last NFTs we want to talk about are here listed. So we are going to have some emojis with unique animated reactions inside of the game. We have medals, rewards for different kind of activities. And then we also will have some banners. So unique images that will be displayed before the start of a PvP match. Well, guys, that was it already with all the kinds of NFTs that we have in Wild Forest. What are you most excited about? Let me know down in the comments. I can't wait to get the clan war started. I want to create and work together with you guys in one clan and defeat others. I can't wait. So if you have any more questions about Wild Forest, let me know down below. I will make sure to answer every question you guys have. And then I see you guys in the next video. And until then, Save the planet!